Blue Jays may be known for being obnoxiously loud, but they do make many other calls that have a much more pleasant sound, such as the squeaky gate call, intrapair calls, this little whiny call isn't too bad, and the list goes on. The one I'll be focusing on in this video though is the whisper song, a vocalization most often considered their song. It's such a low call that many people have never heard it before, therefore aren't even aware of it. Extending its head slightly forward, moving it from side to side, the jay starts to sing its unique song. Imitations of other bird calls are often included too. It can be given by birds of either sex and is thought to help members of a mated pair to synchronize their sexual cycles. So it's a courtship thing. In all the years I've been observing blue jays, I have heard one, maybe two females sing it, but I've heard males using it many times over the years. The odd thing is that often these jays sing it alone and for no apparent reason. I would think that there has to be a reason though. Perhaps they are practicing their calls, learning new sounds and songs they pick up from other birds, adding them to their repertoire. The whisper song is a pretty interesting vocalization, but I witnessed something more fascinating over spring and summer that I've never seen before. Keep in mind that blue jays mate for life, and that both of these males that I'm about to show already had mates. Before I begin, I will have to introduce this lovely new young female, Nova, Feisty Jay's mate. She was born last year and became Feisty Jay's mate back in spring of this year, 2019. One day during nesting, after just visiting Sweet Girl at her nest, I left to go visit Nova at hers, but Nova, like usual, greeted me before I arrived there. Blue was with me. He started singing the whisper song while going around her. He never tried hurting her and didn't seem aggressive at all, but he sure was in the singing mood. Nova was annoyed and kept trying to get him to back off, and after a little while he did. To me, it seemed like a Pepe Le Pew type scenario. It appeared that he was pursuing her, which kind of ticked me off for a little because, well, he already has a mate, sweet girl. I'm joking, of course it didn't tick me off. It did interest me, though. Why did Blue do that? I thought about it all the time. Then a week later, another male, Squawky, did the same thing to Nova. Squawky as well already has a mate. Now I was starting to think that this Nova chick must be the most beautiful of all the females to male blue jays or something like that. Of course, I don't know if that's the case. I can never say what that was all about. But believe it or not, I witnessed it from yet another jay and toward Nova again. It was at the end of nesting. Three jays in total reacted to Nova in the same way, and that's just the ones I've witnessed. Who knows how many more males have done the same thing. Over the last nine years, I've watched Blue and Sweet Girl very closely, and never once did I see Blue do that to Sweet Girl, or any other J for that matter. I also never ever saw any other J's do this before. That doesn't mean it don't happen though. It was quite an interesting summer. I wish I could say why they behave that way to Nova, but I can't. I can only speculate, and this is what I've come up with. Of all the females, Nova was the only nesting female that ventured out into other areas around other males without her mate Feisty Jay. I don't recall Sweet Girl ever leaving her nest to go very far at all, and if she did, Blue would be with her. I wonder if maybe that was why. The male sensed a brooding female, and maybe they just can't help themselves. But the third time it happened, Nova was done nesting. In fact, she was molting. But for the third male, it still was in nesting season. So I don't know, maybe this Nova girl is just irresistible to male blue jays. I haven't seen any other males behave that way to her though. Makes me wonder if I will see it happen to her again maybe next spring. Have you ever seen this before? Comment below and let me know. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, I brought back these lovely Birds Make Me Happy shirts just in time for the holidays. There is one week left to grab one, so don't miss out. I will leave a link in the description below as well as in the comments. As always, your support is very much appreciated. And if you want more interesting Blue Jay videos to watch, I will put a few up on the screen there now. Thanks for watching. Happy birding!